Dear friends, gather round, for I'm about to take you on a journey into the fascinating world of garbage. Yes, garbage, but not just any garbage. We're diving headfirst into the origins of the trash compactor, that unsung hero of household convenience. Get ready to be amazed as we explore the invention that revolutionized the way we deal with our daily trash. Picture it, the early 20th century, a time when folks were still tossing their refuse into open bins and dumpsters with wild abandon. Cities reeked of decaying waste, rats thrived, and sanitation workers were waging a never-ending battle against the tide of trash. It was a hot mess, and something needed to change. Enter the trash compactor, the brainchild of a handful of ingenious inventors who decided that enough was enough. You see, the idea of compacting trash wasn't new, but turning it into a practical household device? Now that's where the magic happened. The birth of the modern trash compactor can be traced back to 1941, when a man by the name of Miltiades D. Papadopoulos, an enterprising inventor from Greece, patented his invention called the disposal. What made Papadopoulos' invention special was its compact size, making it perfect for home use. It was essentially a small, portable garbage disposal unit with a manual compactor. But the real breakthrough came in 1949, when an American engineer named George A. Salvage improved upon Papadopoulos' design and patented what we now recognize as the first true trash compactor. Salvage's design featured an electric motor that made the process much more convenient. No more hand cranking. Plus, it had a nifty safety interlock to prevent curious fingers from wandering into the maw of the machine. Now, you might be wondering why anyone would want to compact their trash in the first place. Well, aside from reducing the volume of garbage and saving space, compacted trash also had the benefit of reducing the frequency of garbage pickups, which was a big deal in those days. And let's not forget the odors. Compacted trash was less likely to emit those offensive smells that plagued open trash bins. But the trash compactor's journey didn't stop there. It wasn't long before the appliance found its way into homes across America. By the 1970s, they had become a symbol of modern living, a fixture in many kitchens, and even a status symbol of sorts. After all, who wouldn't want to show off their sleek, futuristic, trash-squishing marvel to their friends? Over the years, trash compactors have evolved, becoming quieter, more efficient, and more eco-friendly. They're now equipped with sensors, smart technology, and even the ability to self-diagnose issues. Some can even hold weeks' worth of trash in a single, neatly compressed cube, making those dreaded trips to the dumpster a thing of the past. So there you have it, the story of the humble trash compactor, a gadget born out of necessity and brought to life by the ingenuity of inventors like Miltiades D. Papadopoulos and George A. Salvage. It's a story of progress, convenience, and a cleaner, fresher smelling world. Next time you toss your garbage into one of these modern marvels, take a moment to appreciate the history behind it and the countless heaps of trash it has helped us conquer. Your support is greatly appreciated. Please subscribe for a continuous supply of knowledge. Thank you.